Well, here we are. It is Saturday morning. You know what that means. It's time for the Remax Magnolia Show, normally with Michelle Cummins. But, uh, well, Michelle, Michelle's not here. So it's me. I'm always co-hosting. But we have Kelly sitting here today from Remax Magnolia. I forgot your last name, though, Kelly. I should have given you the full name. Robertson. Kelly Robertson. There we go. So it's Kelly Robertson. I should have asked that before we went on air. <laughs> you know, you think I'm a professional, and then I go and do something like that. So, uh, Kelly, it's good to have you here because you're the last Remax Magnolia person to have on the air. Thank you. Nice to be here. So you were doing your best to avoid this. I know it. Yes, I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Extended holidays and then, you know, <laughs> New Year. Moving on. Just doing what you could. No, I mean, this is this is easy. This is, this is nothing. If I can do it, anybody can do it. That's what I always tell people. Okay. And plus, James has been here. He's been okay at it. <laughs> so. If James can do it, I can do it. That's right. <laughs> and here's our, uh, our, our weekly shot at James. Yes. Seems to happen a lot. Um, so tell me, Kelly, uh, tell me a little bit about Kelly Robertson and, uh, you know, who you are and all that. So, uh, well, first off, uh, you know, where are you from? Well, I was... Raised in Richmond, Richmond, B.C.? No. Yes. I'm a Richmond boy. Are you? If you tell me you went to Steveston High, I'm leaving. I totally went to Steveston High. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Colt. You're a... A Richmond you, High. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta leave. Oh, no. We've got a rivalry yeah, here. Yeah, I gotta leave. Actually, here's the funny joke. My wife's name is Kelly. Yes. And she went to Steveston High. You're joking. No. So oh, we my take, gosh. So the fact that we even get along... Yes. Is amazing. So what about uh, Hugh Boyd, Burnett? Burnett. Burnett, I went to Boyd. <laughs> okay, that's my, my wife went to Boyd too, so. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so we had rival middle schools. Yes. Rival high schools. Yes. Uh, now, of course, all those, they're all high schools now. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So Richmond, so obviously we grew up in West Richmond in the same area and stuff too, so whereabouts in Richmond did you grow up? Yeah, right near Steveston. Okay. Yeah, I lived uh, in Richmond Back and forth from Vancouver to Richmond up until uh, just over 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's changed a lot since we were kids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I say, like, Chilliwack reminds me a little bit of how Richmond used to be. A little bit, yeah. Right? Like farmland and open spaces, the river. We had the Fraser in Richmond, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, but now Chilliwack's also growing quite fast, too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I know the similarities because, uh, I, I, you know, you take the mountains away and you uh, you surround it by the Fraser River instead, and you've got pretty much what it used to be with all the farmland and everything else. Yeah. I mean, remember when Terra Nova was, was farmland? A hundred percent, yeah. now it's high-priced houses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everywhere you look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's that's awesome. That's hilarious that we, uh, we, we grew up in a similar area that that's too funny yeah. so and then what brought you out to the fraser valley uh baby number three ah yeah richmond became a little small and uh you know expensive so next thing you know we've got three kids in tow looking for somewhere to go have more space and chilliwack was the right place yeah absolutely and chilliwack is uh, an area that's uh, still for lack of a better word, affordable. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it it sort of is, <laughs> depending on your perspective, but yes. But once you're out in the valley here too, especially growing up in, in, in the suburbs, you know, and things like that, or in Vancouver, you learn that uh, there's so much to do out here outdoors-wise. Like you want to be on the lake, you can be in the lake in a few minutes. You want to go for a hike, well, there's hiking trails around town and everywhere else as well. You don't just have to go to the nature park and do the same trail a million <laughs> times, right? Or walk around Mineru Park. Yeah. <laughs> The nature park, blast from the past. Yes, I love that for the kids. Um, the fact that when we moved out, we moved to Yarrow. So we have the Vetter River right there, which was a five-minute walk from where we were living. So it was easy to just take the kids. And there's so much to do just even there. And um, like you say, Cultus is right there. And the mountains, you can go hiking. So it was the best decision ever. Yeah. So what made you decide you wanted to get into real estate? Where, how did that path, you know, find you? Well, um, to be honest, I started getting into real estate when I was really young. I bought a, a pre-sale condo before I was 20 in Richmond, way before people were thinking Richmond was great. And so it was very affordable. And I asked my dad for some help. I got a mortgage and... So we're going, you know, like 25 years back to where I started. And then every couple of years I would buy and sell 
and it was really working well. And uh, yeah, then at some point I was um, I, I was pregnant with the third child and realized that that would be a great job that had flexibility. So I took my test and I passed. Okay, so it was just uh, kind of a, you know, you got into it at a young age and developed a liking for it. Yeah, it was like a hobby that turned into a career. So you pretty much, that's, that's all you've done in your adult life is real estate pretty much? No, I used to teach fitness. Okay. Yeah. And worked in hotels. Okay. So what were, you, what were you doing for fitness? Were you doing like, uh, you know, spin classes? Yeah. Were you, okay, okay. Yeah, spin and yoga in the Richmond community centers. Okay. You know, the, you know that's one thing that I will give credit to Richmond. I know we keep talking about Richmond. Yeah. People are going, why Richmond? <laughs> Richmond has great community centers. It was amazing. We had so much to offer, such a vast population. Like we would do, you know, classes for kids. We would do classes for teenagers. Um, prenatal, seniors, they were so well taken care of, the seniors in the community centers. So I really enjoyed that. And the other thing is like, yes, we do have some great community centers here in the Valley too, in Chilliwack and and Abbotsford, but there's like six or seven of them in Richmond where there's like three out here. Yeah. (laughs) Oh no. It's, it's like night and day difference. The, what we offered in Richmond, um, for sure. The city of Richmond, I believe like really did do well there. Yeah. Yeah, and has for a long time. That's one thing I will, I will give him props for that. I mean, my dad still lives there. Yeah, my mom still lives in Richmond. Yeah, my dad's living in the house he bought in 1974 on Railway Avenue uh, for uh, $43,000. Oh, yeah. I think my parents spent 17000 on theirs. Mm, <laughs> double lot. And, uh, you know, dad, yeah, it's I'm like, what are you waiting for, dad? Sell it. Move. What are you doing, man? You know? <laughs> Move to Chilliwack. Yeah. Give I mean, me a call. <laughs> you're 86. Come on. How much? I have to come and help paint and, you know. Mow the lawn. <laughs> No, he does at least got a ride in lawnmower. Oh, okay. But okay. every year, it's I, as the younger son, I have to get up on the ladder and clean out the gutters and stuff like that. Oh, you yes. Know, I get the fun jobs, you know, and I'm not getting any younger either. So Lucky like, you. Come on, why do I got to do it? <laughs> Last year, I was doing it, and my son was holding the ladder, and I went, why am I up here? <laughs> There's a problem. But, you know. That's just it, right? But uh, so now you're, you've been in the Valley for a number of years, and uh, now you've uh, found your way to working uh, with Michelle Cummins and the crew at, at uh, Remax Magnolia. And how's the experience been there so far? Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, it was, it was an interesting transition because I left Chilliwack Real Estate Board to go to Fraser Valley, and it was right before Christmas. So, um, you know, there's lots going on, and she was just under construction in the new office. So, you know, lots of activity, lots going on, but, you know, we did it. I made it through the other side and now I'm there and the office is amazing. It's aesthetically gorgeous as well as like everyone is so lovely that works there. I'm really excited for this year just to be starting, you know, with everything complete now and yeah, it's just going to be a great year. I can sense it. Yeah, and I know that we've had everybody from the uh, the, the brokerage on now. Uh, obviously, Michelle's here all the time. <laughs> it's her show. But we've had everybody else now, too. And uh, it does seem like that Michelle has managed to uh, piece together a, a pretty fine team of people with diverse backgrounds, diverse skill sets that really must, um, it must make it easy to lean on one another for help in that office. Yeah, it's really... I'm learning so much already just from meeting everybody and hearing what their, you know, experiences have been. Michelle, of course, has got such extensive experience in the industry, and I'm so excited to learn so much from her because she's done so well um, with her career. And I just am so, you know, happy to be just learning from that group. Yeah, and I mean, that's just it. I mean, you've got uh, you, you've got Michelle, who has so much experience in the industry here in the Valley uh, with everybody else's experience and things like that. Uh, yeah, it just must make uh, it must make for a real good kind of family feel there. Yeah, there is no discomfort in the office and we're a small group. And, you know, just the way it's set up in the office, you walk in, you get your coffee and you hang out and you work. So I think it's, um, I always feel like if you're having fun, you're more prone to success, I believe. And so I think that's going to be our key is that we're all hanging out, having a good time. And then the success just follows. 
Well, there's so many thousands of, of real estate agents out there. I know some of them have maybe take one listing. Some aren't really practicing and they have a license or whatever else. But I guess there's so much competition. You really have to, to find your own niche and how you do it. A hundred percent. Yeah. And Michelle does what, what the office, what Remax Magnolia is doing that I can see is there's so many details that most people wouldn't even consider that she has gone above and beyond to bring for us. So we stand out. So we are noticeably, you know, going that extra step for our clients. So I appreciate being a part of that because that is, it is true. There's, it's such a, such a competitive market and um, you really do need to do the extra five, 10, 20 steps in order to stand out. Absolutely. Well, with that, we should probably take a break here. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Do you know the website address? Because I do if you don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because Michelle, I always say, where can people get information about listings and things like that? And she just rattles it off. But when I ask the rest of you guys there, you're like, oh, what is it again? It's uh, RemaxMagnoliaRealty.com. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say real estate, yeah. but realty. Or Google. Or Google us. Just Google us. Google us. We're everywhere. Exactly. (laughs) It's not that hard. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more right after this.